Hey guys, what is up? It's me, JRPG Bro. We're jumping back into Persona 5 Royal right now. Next. We are currently in Okumura's Palace. Haru just had her Persona awaken last time, so we're off on a pretty good start. And I think we're going to start making some serious progress through this palace this time around. Uh, it, it's a big palace, but I don't think it's going to pose as much of a problem for us as it does for some people. Like I said, the big thing so is that I tend to be yes. over level and uh, I think most of our party is in the upper set between like 75 and 95 somewhere in that ballpark area I can't say with 100% certainty I thought my head what level we're at but I'm pretty sure uh, we are in a pretty good spot at this point in time for oh. you know our level in this palace so the only person I'm worried about is Haru uh, she is a little under level because we just got her so she's gonna be at the level that they roughly base the palace on so our goal is to try to get her some get her some levels as well as clearing the palace
Joker. Hold a moment. Joker. Okay. So right now we're working our way here through the palace trying to figure out the like I said this is a little bit of a labyrinth here trying to find the 
chief director. And uh, my strategy is just to fight everything, uh, because fighting everything is a great way for us to get experience points, and most of those experience points are going to go over to Haru, uh, and really help her get a little bit higher in level. I love how the enemies here, like I said, this is the Spaceport of Greed, is what they're calling it, you know, the trophy list and everything like that. My thing is, is I love how the the robots there kind of look like Daleks from Doctor Who, but I noticed it the first time, I was like, oh look, copyright infringement. Um, it's not 100% copyright infringement, but I'm just making a joke here at the expense here. Uh, they do take a lot of inspiration throughout the game um. from other, pro you know, from, from other, you know, pop culture because a lot of stuff is uh, based on pop culture and mythos as well as as a whole, of course. So I'm just throwing that out there that those robots kind of look like Daleks. Is where the treasure is. We're not far. If it's seriously that close, can't we just go from outside? No point going through there. Hmm. That might be worth a try. The effects of cognitive. your true form. Let's catch up. 
Hold your breath. Good work, everyone. Okay. Huh? That was a little too easy. I can see it. I'll reveal your true form. Fire is our best shot. Another down. Go, Queen, go! Persona! Johanna! Wow, you got two of them, Queen! Don't resist! They're done for! Fist of justice! Okay. A decisive victory. Your true form. Now's our chance. It isn't a major threat, but don't lose it. Go, Queen, go! Just for you. The ah! Don't forget this feeling, just like I thought. Complete victory. Now let's keep going. Show me your true form. I'll reveal your true form. What about the advantage? Don't rush this. Persona! Ravage them! Persona! You want more? Come! Behold! I wasn't strong enough. Here he comes! You use my persona! No holds barred! Go! Power up! Persona! Okay. No major setbacks. Let's continue on. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, we got a black rock here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what half of these accessories are. Like, I don't know the accessories that well. Uh, I, usually, when it comes to accessories in this one, I love to stick with the good old-fashioned uh, SP adhesive. Recovers 7 SP per turn in battle, and it's fantastic. It works wonders, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that is probably one of my favorite items in the game as a whole. I, I always make sure I buy enough for the party, at least four. Uh, they are expensive. They really are. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You buy them from Doctor to Kemi. Uh, more close to the end game, especially if you finish your confidant arc. Make sure you have lots of yen with you guys when you're going in there. But we are making headway. Uh, we're, we're really getting through here. Uh, this pile, like I said, it's pretty big. But my tendency is to clear these palaces. It, personally, it takes me a couple hours in game uh, to really clear them. And you know, I could do one in an afternoon. So, I mean, it, it, it's crazy that, like, they're big and they're massive, but, like, they're doable, but you could do them in a sitting if you really wanted to push for it. It really is a factory, just like the name says. I want... Huh. Do you think it's related to that Escape to Utopia thing? Hold on a sec. Ain't the guys in here moving kind of weird? Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of how you would imagine a utopia to be. 
These conveyor belts and the positioning of the workers. This is almost identical to the company's bun factory. I can't believe this. At the very least, this is how Okumura views his workers. My apologies for saying so, Noir, but this is truly atrocious. Well, it'll all be under control if we can trigger that change of heart in him, yeah? Let's go. sound? Let's secure it as our safe room. Okay, let's go! Indeed.
true form. I'll reveal your true form. Surprise attack? It isn't a major threat, but don't use less skills for work here. going. It seems... I have a feeling this part's going to trip us up for a little bit here. Literally, I think we're going to get kind of stuck here. The figuring out, well, maybe not this one. It might be the next section. But there is, a, we're actually making a lot of progress. I'm hoping next time we're going to be able to get to the actual treasure. That being said, I'm going to put a break in here. Stick a pin in it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm that JRPG bro. This has been Persona 5 Royal, and I will see you all next time. We are going to continue our trek through the palace. Four.